In this episode of Rick Marston, Suburban Meteorite Hunter, we're going to check out Nine Mile Road, basically International Gulf Parkway. But this is the southern region, far away from that, right by all the rural farms, and right before you start going into oblivion. Hey guys, I have to make a real quick statement. I mean, it's one hell of a thing to try to find meteorites. Another thing is to go out and actively dredge and to try to find meteorites in locations and come across trash. Do yourself a favor. Don't be an ass. Keep an extra bag with you as you go along dredging, looking for meteorites, in every location. Do something for your frickin' planet. Do something for your, uh, your neighborhood. Do something for your, you know, your, your community. Take out the trash as you're going along, dude. I mean, seriously, a real jerk would throw this stuff away. If you're really wanting to do something to help our planet and actually rescue meteorites, Think about the good karma and the good energies that you produce when you take this out of the landscape. So do yourself a favor. If you're going to do something and rescue meteorites, also keep a bag with you for trash. Just, it's common sense, man. Thank you. Hi guys, it's Rick Marston, uh, Suburban Meteorite Hunter. I'm on a special, special mission to a place called Nine Mile Road. It's also uh, the exit for International Gulf Parkway, I believe. But we're not doing all nine miles, no, or anything crazy like that. What I'm doing is checking a uh, 1.25 mile area, which is rural, and there are like cows and things, cows and things. Anyways, this is a, a new mission. This is something different. I haven't done this before, so uh, wish us luck on this one. Uh, it's almost Halloween uh, before filming, so uh, of course I always wear black eyeliner and it's okay. It's early in the morning. I'm spooky. I'm in the mood. I'm listening to gothic industrial and other spooky ba uh, bands and just in the mood for Halloween and hopefully we'll find that cool Halloween meteorite. I'm just hoping that today we can rescue some awesome meteorites and help the land by taking some trash out of it, some iron trash and metal trash out of it and, you know, this is a new area, uh, new geology. Uh, hopefully we'll find and actually rescue a meteorite, maybe a chondrite or a iron, who knows, we'll see. So just cross your fingers and we'll see what we find. Love you, see you guys very soon, bye. Okay, so we are, we are on uh, Nine Mile Road. As you can see, this is the rural land I was telling you about. Perfect, there are sand trap all the way down this road I look at farm life oh look we can go to the catholic church after we find some meteorites it's always nice to do this on a sunday because it just makes things so much better anyways i got a bag of stuff this is kind of scary because it's kind of a, a lot of asphalt rock most of this is asphalt rock that i'm finding but we'll see what's inside the bag because it's still I still got a long way to go. Alright, love you guys. Let's see what we find. Wish me luck. Kick it. Alright, so I'm about to get ready to turn around. I've got see where that car just came out. That's where I'm gonna turn around and go back that way. But as you can see the ants are crawling all over something that I kinda want. So let's see if we can see it. Really ants. Yeah, this might be an aggregate straight up, but it's uh all right, that's that. So far, the only thing I found it still looks like an aggregate to me. It's magnetic. It's iron. Let's clean it off and see what we can find. We've still got a long way to go. Go. Yeah. Yippers. Yippers. Yeah, baby. This. Does not look like a chondrite to you. I don't know what it is. Oh my god, it's a chondrite. It looks like a chondrite. Totally. Oh my god. Um, let's look and see where we're at. This is right at the opening to where Royal Pines or whatever it is is. So uh, there's 
Sedovia went to go over. Yes! Oh. Yep. That looks like it's authentic, babe. Can't wait to clean this off. This looks like a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful meteorite. Oh my god, dude. Score! Alright, so I'm on my way back. On the second half, I'm kind of getting close to where I'm supposed to be. And I just had this hunch to kind of turn at this beautiful location. As you can see, we have a friend that needs to be shown. And I see him on the ground right there. Let's see if I can get it. Where is he? Yeah, there he is. He's magnetic. Right? Uh oh, he's in the ground there pretty good. Oh, he's moving. I can see it. It's moving. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that looks like a nice little con- uh oh, don't check it. It's like a nice little conduit, my hands are really dirty. But yeah. Alright. Seriously, boys and girls. Seems to be uh, nine miles, got some stuff. Let's take a look at the rest of this area and see what else is in this here area. Here area. Alright, here we go. Right here we've got uh, four stone meteorites. These are awesome, definitely beautiful, and very, very colorful. Uh, these colors of orange and yellows and reds are definitely the colors you would find in a Northwest Africa stone meteorite. And I've got four of these little guys here. They look like little beans. I like to call them bees. They say the majority of the meteorites that you will find out in the field are pea sized I call them, no, I'd say they're more bean sized. Anyways, let's pan back a little bit. Here are uh, three uh, sifting, okay, here we go. I call them sand pies or rock pies. And here's the big one with all the larger rocks. I have to sift through all of this to see if there's any more meteorites or uh, probable meteorites. We'll see if there's any irons, if there's any chondrites. Anything that's special, we'll go through and we'll just dig it out. So, all right, let me sift through all this stuff. It's going to take probably a day to go through all of it. Uh, this is from Nine Mile Road. And, uh, wow, like I said, I was really, really, really shocked and surprised to see these babies show up. How beautiful. Chondrites, stone meteorites, four of them already. And that was just, like, on the ground that I found and put in my pocket. And these ugh, probable irons, maybe most likely aggregates. Here we go. Here's some definite aggregates so I know that there was some uh, volcanic slag with iron there so you know say these are similar shape and stuff so you never know most likely those irons are aggregates but those are definitely uh, most likely uh, stone meteorites my friends yes does nine mile road crawl I don't know let's find out what's in here crawl what do you mean by then it means like, are there a lot of meteorites possible Postable full. Remember, most street dredging isn't like, oh, I found the strewn field. It's more like, you know, what randomly fell and exploded over the street and ended up on the side of the road in the sand traps or rock traps. So here we go. Let's sift through this and see what we got. Love you guys. Okay, these are the final results. I've got five really nice uh, specimens here that fit the stone chondrite look and feel. They have panacea. This one here in the front uh, uh, here that looks like a patty, a crabby patty. <laughs> Let me zoom in real quickly. That's a beautiful piece of olivine coming out of it. It looks like a piece of crystal. There's olivine crystal. Here's another beautiful weathered stony. I love this. It's got beautiful oranges and reds and yellows in it. And it's got a great panacea. It's beautiful. These are the other stone stonies that I found uh, each one does have chondrules uh, micro uh, minerals coming off of them these totally have small metallic fragments in them they are completely magnetic as you saw I was pulling a couple of these off nine mile road they are absolutely beautiful and I'm very blessed to have found these now let's go over here all right, these are pretty cool because I actually did find some 
uh, uh, irons that look like iron meteorites. Um, but again, everything that looks like anything that comes out of the ground uh, is pretty much either an aggregate or an iron meteorite. That's the coolest thing. Now this this one right here has a beautiful like rollover like lip. I don't know if you can see that kind of detail. But also it has a caliche line that seems to be going up that. Really cool. It's very, very much like I was saying, the bean orientation. Uh, the caliche kind of goes all the way around it, which is basically a calcium buildup on it. You'll see a lot of iron meteorites out there um, have the, uh, the caliche buildup on it. Here's that uh, the, uh, first aggregate that I found. You can tell it's definitely an aggregate. It's a little spiky little point, like it wants to keel. But it also has uh, remnants of the asphalt still on it. Um, this patty looking one here in the front here, it looks like it's oxidized. It definitely has some wear and it looks like it's been up there for a long time. The rest of these either are meteorites or aggregates, but here let's rotate the square and let's take a look at the rest of these specimens. They are cool. Look at that regular look in the big one on the right. Top right, the circular one. Which are all beautiful. Very cool. Those are all cleaned up from what I showed you earlier in this. So yeah, Nine Mile Road was an incredibly good and uh, great idea. Um, remember, the rural roads are fantastic as long as they still have the curbs, like I was saying. Uh, does Nine Mile crawl? Uh, the evidence here is pretty good. It might. Uh, remember, I only did 1.25 uh, two ways, and we got ourselves some wonderful specimens. And uh, I am very impressed with these uh, stony meteorites. They are beautiful. Uh, absolutely awesome. So, uh, and these, again, anything that's... Uh, man, look at the ranking clips on this little guy. That's cool. Anyway, sorry. I, I, I love it. These could all... Yeah, does nine mile road crawl i'd say maybe i'd give it a 75 percent chance that somebody actually went through those those fields and stuff like that and tried to look we may have a stream field of some sort i doubt it this remember like i was saying uh most of the street dredging that i do the results are coming from just the stray explosion or meteorite that fell off overhead and landed on the road and just made its way to the side of the road and got stuck in a rock or a sand trap so but man ah uh, that was this was one memorable mission uh the rural roads with high curbs are what you're looking for open skies not a lot of trees uh yeah thank you you guys rock on to the next mission uh i love you guys keep looking for those meteorites and remember you are the one to do it you are the one to save these meteorites uh, save them before they all go down the drain. Because remember, that's what's going to happen to them. They're going to wear and get and be destroyed by the environmental conditions, or and or be washed away in down the drains. So get them before they go down the drains, my friends. Beautiful meteorites waiting for you. Help me. Okay, I love you guys. Peace and respect. I will see you out later. Bye.